All right, class, here's our assignment for today. It's page 60. It's week 10, lesson A, the parable of the farmer and the seeds. You may start with your name at the top of it. This one could be a little bit tougher, but we did a great job taking notes on our Christ Light assignment. If you took great notes, this one will actually be very easy. Here's the direction. It says, complete each sentence with a word from the Bible lesson. So you got to reread your lesson. In fourth grade, we've been working on rereading things, hopefully third grade as well. Then solve the mystery message below by writing the numbered letters in the matching lines. This mystery message is similar to what Jesus said about the parable. I actually circled the answer on the back of your Christ light sheet. If you did it on yours, you'll already have the answer to that. All right, so let's start with number one. He told blank to explain heavenly truth. So here's how I would do my assignment. Once again, Jesus came to the Sea of Galilee where he spoke to many people. This time he used parables to teach them. Parables. He told parables. P-A-R-A-B-L-E-S to explain heavenly truth. Parables. Now, I'm going to use these letters down here. Number seven is an A. So now I come to the bottom. Seven is an A. 18 is an R, and 27 is an A. All right, so it's like playing Wheel of Fortune. You're trying to figure out the missing letters to figure out the hidden word. All right, number two. The seeds that fell on the hard path were eaten by the seeds on the hard path. Right in order in our lesson, most of the answers come. Oh, I already wrote it on the side. Yeah, they were eaten by the birds. birds. So if you did a good job taking notes, this assignment's pretty easy. All right, only one of those has a number underneath and it's the R. Number 28 is R. Let's jump to number three. The plants from the seeds on the rocky ground were blank by the hot sun and died. Well, I remember that they sprang up really quick these seeds sprang up quickly in the warm sun, that the thin layer of soil. But because the rocks underneath the roots of the young plants could not go down deep enough into the ground to find moisture. So when the hot sun, here we go, this is the part we need, beat down on them, these plants were scorched. There it is. Let's make sure we spell it correctly. Scorched. S C O R C. H E D scorched by the hot sun. All right, three letters in this one. Number one is an H. Oh, they did that one for us. Number 26 is an E. I think I know what this word is now. And number eight is an S. I think I know what this word is now, too. Let's keep going. The thorns blank out the good plants. <coughs> Choke them. Let's see if I can find in here. Still, good soil. Nope. Among the seeds fell among the thorns. These seeds began to grow, but the thorns grew faster and thicker. They shut out the air and the sun, used with moisture, so the good plants were <coughs> choked. Choked. We got two of them there. We got the H is a four. One, two, three, four is H, and a 14 is the O. Number five, I'm going to do one more. We'll have done half of them for you, and then the rest are going to be on your own. Number five, the seeds on the ground, on the good soil, grew well and blanked a good crop. I think it's produced, but I'm going to go ahead and read it anyhow. Then Jesus went on, still other seeds fell on good soil. There they grew well and produced. There it is. P-R-O-D-U-C-E-D, -E produce. Number 11 is an R. And number 2 is an E. He, we got one word already. All right, you're on your own. Now, here's where we left off. If you're... Looking at, here's where we left off, right here. Then Jesus. All your answers from 5 through 10 will be in this section. 
and they'll be in chronological order. They're going right in order. So here will be the next answer, then the next answer, and right down. And then the hidden message is... Yeah. Okay, the answer to the bottom will be figured out as you figure out 6 through 10. All right, guys. God bless your day, and we'll have a new Christ Light lesson tomorrow.